Well, April marks Sexual Assault Awareness Month. According to the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network, every 68 seconds an American is sexually assaulted. Joining us now to discuss the impacts of sexual violence, Katie Costner, the executive director of Take Back the Night. Katie, welcome. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. Uh, what are some common misconceptions about this type of violence, do you think? Well, we know that most of it happens by someone you know and trust, and there's still the idea that it's a stranger who's going to grab you off the street instead of someone you've been out on a date with. So that's probably the biggest problem. And that the other would be that men aren't sexually, sexually assaulted. And really, we know that about one in six men go through sexual abuse or assault in their lifetime, too. And, and we're also seeing, because we've heard about it, it's been in, in headlines for, for years, women who are assaulted sometimes fear coming forward um, to accuse their accuser for fear of even more repercussion or just more pushback, which makes what was a horrible situation even worse. Yeah, the, the victim blaming still goes on, and it's saying that you could have done something to prevent this, or there's blame by relatives and friends, and then there's a, a justice system that still doesn't hold most rapists accountable because the a difficulty of getting a conviction. For such an awful crime, though, why do you think that is? It, it just, it's another one of those things that I think boggles the mind of people. Why is this so tough to get a conviction? Because Is it because it comes down to a lot of times he said, she said? It, I agree. It's definitely he said, she said. There's no witnesses. Um, and a lot of times they're, the suspect is someone that we couldn't possibly believe would ever do something like this. Uh, you started the Take Back the Night Foundation back in 2001. Tell us a, a little bit more about the inspiration behind it and the huge impact that it has had over the last 20 plus years. Yeah, absolutely. So Take Back the Night was a movement, the oldest global movement to end sexual violence in the world. And I simply corralled all of the event holders and organizations holding those events at college campuses and in communities, um, especially in the U.S. and Canada, but even at in 40 different countries. So what we do at Take Back the Night is we hold an awareness event. It could be a march, a rally, um, a protest. It could be a, a candlelight vigil in honor of victims or a speak out. But we usually do this once a, once a year um, throughout the country. And those events bring together anywhere from 50 to 5,000 um, attendees to you know participate, protest, and share stories. It's gotta be amazing for a community like this to be able to get together with other people who are experiencing similar traumas to be able to talk things out um, over an expanded period of time like this through the events that you've had. Uh, how can people get involved? What, and what events, uh, you know, Absolutely. are people, what, what events are you having here in and around the city? Well, in, I'll be up there um, in Poughkeepsie, north of you, in yep. Mars College, but there's Manhattan, Mount, Mount St. Mary's, Pace. Uh, we've had events at Columbia, NYU. So all you have to do is go to the Take Back the Night website and check out where our events are being held. And you can always go to our global virtual event that's free and open to the entire planet. <laughs> On the last Thursday of April, every year we have a global virtual event for everyone who, who's too far from their local event. And Katie, before I let you go, as, as we use this month to raise awareness, what are some ways people can be supportive of those who've been a victim of sexual assault? Perfect. Yes. Yeah, so I think, first of all, believe them. Um, say that you want to support them. Ask them what you can do. Uh, we at Take Back Night also started the National Sexual Assault legal hotline. So it's 567 Shatter if they want to know what their legal options are. Um, RAIN that you mentioned at the beginning has the counseling hotline. So recommend reporting, recommend counseling, and recommend just taking time for themselves and believing in their, their courage to heal. It's a serious crime and the accusation should be taken seriously. I think that's first and foremost. Katie, thank you so much. We appreciate it. The executive director of Take Back the Night. We good to, good to see you and, and again, thank you. Thank you.